New here at 6 o'clock, more than 100 dogs and cats seized from an eastern Kentucky property over the weekend. The owner now facing criminal charges, including 12 counts of improperly disposing of dead animals. The Trixie Foundation has been the face of controversy in many animal rescue groups for years. Tonight, rescue leaders tell investigative reporter Shay McAllister they're hopeful this could be the end for the so-called sanctuary. The Trixie Foundation describes itself as the best kept secret in animal welfare, but years of allegations of neglect and abuse tell a different story. This video from Tara Bassett, who made the two and a half hour trip east of Louisville to Elliott County, Kentucky. This was the scene at the animal rescue where the nearly 100 dogs and cats were taken after they were seized from the Trixie Foundation. We talked to Julia Sharp, who leads the rescue over video messenger. She describes the condition of the dogs she took in. These dogs have horrific, horrific health problems. We're seeing tumors, advanced dental disease, uh, overgrown nails, um, severe skin infections and bacterial infections, um, digestive issues, emaciation, some are bloated. I mean, everything you can think of is going on with most of these dogs. KSP says they received multiple calls with complaints about what was happening on the property. So they got a search warrant and on Saturday found animals living in filth, according to Sharp. It, it's a mixed bag of emotions right now because this never should have happened. This never should have happened. Randy Skaggs, pictured here in a photo from the Trixie Foundation Facebook page, was charged with nearly 200 counts of animal cruelty and failing to vaccinate dogs back in 2018. But he was allowed to keep most of the animals. After Saturday's charges, the animals were removed from his property. And Sharp says her hope is no animals ever return. Skaggs is set to go to trial on the animal cruelty charges from 2018 next month. We don't yet have a court date for the charges he got this weekend. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.